much around time means waking up early before sunrise and we will talk about all the ways you can do that from today yes you can start these from today because the number one tip is to start winding down after the maghrib prayer make sure your dinner time is around maghrib time so that you have enough time to let it digest before you hit bed some of us eat extremely late around 10 or 11 pm or even later and then go to sleep a few hours after that wake up late only to realize that fajr has been missed that's why eat around maghrib time so that you have enough time to do other stuff while your tummy does its work and then Go to bed. Following this, the second tip is to sleep after praying your Isha prayer. Now in winters, Isha would be around 7 p.m. So sleeping that early isn't a thing for most of us. In this case, schedule yourself to sleep a little after Isha, but still nice and early. However, in summers, Isha can be super late, for example, 10.30 p.m. in Melbourne. This is when this tip comes handy. What you got to do is be prepared with your badu your prayer mat, your prayer clothes, etc. before the prayer time begins. Once it's time, do your night prayers and hit bed immediately after that so that you can wake up for Fajr early next morning. A bonus here is it gets easier to sleep with Vadu if you sleep right after you finish praying and this helps you with waking up for Fajr because you're sleeping in a state of purity. Please don't do a lot of activity or tiring things before bedtime which might make it extremely hard for you to be up for Fajr. I'm talking about things like heavy workouts, night outs, etc. Just wind down slowly and steadily at night and just go to sleep early. Tip 3 is to get your family or friends involved in your goal of being up for Fajr on time. You can have a Fajr buddy who calls you when it's time to wake up. You can go to the masjid with them or pray with them at home. This buddy can be your sibling, your parent, your neighbor who goes to pray or someone at the masjid. They can be either strict or friendly. It's your choice. Whatever suits you. Basically get someone that you can be accountable to. Someone who will make Make sure you are up for Fajr and who will ask you if you've prayed. Please don't lie to them. It's not going to make anything better. Be honest to yourself. This is your goal. They're only here to help you achieve that goal. Another thing you can do is to track your progress with them. Like have a Fajr streak. Day one, day two, until forever, inshallah. The fourth tip is to drink a lot of water before you go to sleep so that when your alarm rings next morning, you just cannot go back to sleep because you have this urgent need to go to the washroom because you drank a lot of water last night. So then you're already up and about. You can do your wudu and also pray too. Other ways to wake up are to keep your alarm far away from your bed where you can still hear the alarm but you'll have to get up to close the alarm. If you have a stereo system or speakers at home then connect your phone to it so you can hear the alarm even in the deepest of your sleep you could use the azan as an alarm as well however if you don't live near a masjid or you cannot hear the azan from home then you could have your phone play the azan when it's fajr time tip five is that when you awaken from your sleep never ever say the just five minutes more thingy to yourself if you really wanted that five minutes of sleep then go to bed five minutes earlier the prophet jumped up not even stood or sat or woke up he literally jumped up from his bed when it was time for Fajr because we all know how easy it is to go back to sleep if you're still in bed. The shaitan is very clever but we have to be stronger. Other general tips to make your Fajr journey easier are things like avoid caffeine after evening, use your electronic devices on night mode for better sleep, make it easier for yourself to wake up and pray, basically remove all obstacles, basically create a system that you can follow to help you with making it to Fajr on time. Start with something small. Small. Tell yourself in the morning that you'll just get up and sit and then say you're just gonna get up and stand and then once you've stood up you can just go to wazoo and pray. So start with the small things. Your brain is like a child. You gotta make it easy for yourself. You gotta trick your brain into thinking that it's such an easy task. So once you get started, you get into the flow of things and you finish the whole task itself. Reward yourself on days that you make it to Fajr so that you start associating feelings of joy with the task of praying Fajr on time instead of negative feelings of being hard on yourself. The next tip is that whatever you do to wake up for Fajr, it will only work if you know why you want to pray Fajr on time. What's your driving force? What's your motivation to make it to Fajr on time? So that's the main point, to have a proper intention and goal, a strong willpower to wake up, a reason to wake up, remember your why and how it makes you feel when you achieve it. The subconscious mind is really powerful. It can wake you up even without an alarm and even on days when you haven't been able to get much sleep. Think about it. 
How do you wake up to go to school on time or to your job or work on time or that meeting or to catch that train? Because you have a reason, a reason strong enough to wake you up. So that's why I have a strong reason for Fajr too. Reward yourself or remind yourself of the reward for praying Fajr on time. Trust yourself that you can do it. So make sure that base and foundation, aka your reason to wake up, your incentives and your willpower are strong and you will inshallah make it on time for Fajr starting from from the next Fajr prayer, inshallah. When you do make it, come back and let all of us know in the comments below that you've made it on time for Fajr. Like and subscribe, please. Until next time, live your beliefs and stay tuned to Bliffy.